Cooking with Sunshine, How Plants Make Food by Ellen Lawrence. It's feeding time. On a sunny afternoon, animals in the park are busy looking for food. A squirrel scampers in the grass eating seeds. Caterpillars wriggle from plant to plant, looking for juicy leaves to munch on. The animals aren't the only ones feeding, however. The park's plants are also getting food, without even moving from place to place. How do you think plants get food? Plants come in many different shapes and sizes. A tree is a very big plant. A grassy lawn is made of thousands of small grass plants. Roots, stems, and leaves. To grow and live, plants make their own food using their roots, stems, and leaves. Roots are the part of a plant that grows down into the soil. The stems of a plant connect the root to its leaves. Roots, stems, and leaves all have jobs to do when it's time to make food. In a notebook, you can draw a picture of a plant, adding these labels to your drawing. Roots, stem, leaf. Many plants grow flowers. Flowers don't help plants make their food. They help them make seeds that can grow into new plants. The roots and stems get to work. To make food, one of the things plants need is water. Plants use their roots to take in water from the soil. The water travels from the roots up a plant's main stem. Then it, mo it moves then through the plant's thinner stems to the leaves. Finally, the water spreads through the leaves inside tiny tubes called veins. How does water move through a plant? Put half an inch of water into a glass and add a teaspoon of blue food coloring. Then take a celery stalk with leaves and cut an inch off the bottom end. Place the end of the stalk in the blue water. You will see the celery change color as the blue water moves up the stalk. A tree's thick main stem is called a trunk. The thinner stems where the leaves grow are called branches. Water moving from the soil through the roots and stems to the leaves. Leaves get to work. Plants also need a gas from the air to make food. They collect this gas using carbon dioxide, using their leaves. Carbon dioxide enters a plant's leaves through tiny holes. The tiny holes that leaves use to take in carbon dioxide are called stomato. A single hole is called a stoma. The stomata are on the underside of a leaf. Stomata are, tiny, are so tiny they can only be seen under a microscope. In this photograph, a microscope has zoomed in on a rose leaf stoma. The stoma is 5,000 times bigger than in real life. Soaking up sunshine. The final thing that plants need to make their food is sunlight. A plant soaks up sunlight using its leaves. When a plant has water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight, it has everything it needs to get cooking. Leaves can be big, small, long, round, shiny, and even prickly. No matter how they look, all leaves hold water, collect carbon dioxide, and soak up sunlight. Go on a leaf hunt and try to find as many different sizes and shapes of leaves as you can. Look for the veins. You might need to use a magnifying glass to see some of them. Cooking with sunshine. Inside their leaves, plants use sunlight to turn water and carbon dioxide into a sugary food. This process is called photosynthesis. The food a plant makes is not the same as the sugar that people use to make cakes and other sweet foods. It's a kind of sugar that plants use for energy and to help them grow. The word photo means light. The word synthesis means putting together. So photosynthesis means putting together with light. Cooking green. 
Photosynthesis takes place in a plant's leaves with the help of a substance called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll gives plants their green color. It also traps the energy in sunlight. Chlorophyll uses that energy to make photosynthesis happen in the plant's leaves. In addition to helping a plant make food, sunlight helps a plant make chlorophyll in its leaves. Amazing plants. During photosynthesis, plants don't just make their food. Something else amazing happens. Plants make a gas called oxygen. They give off the oxygen from their leaves. People and animals need this gas to breathe. Without oxygen from plants, people and animals would die. People can't see it happening, but all around them, plants are making oxygen, from little house plants on the windowsill to grass and tall trees in backyards. Plants don't only help people by making oxygen, Plants also give people food. What plants have you eaten in the past week? People and animals need plants. Plants grow and live by making food from water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight. As they make food, they give off oxygen. Humans and animals need oxygen to breathe. Many plants could survive on Earth without people and animals. Without plants, however, people and animals wouldn't have the oxygen they need to live. Plants get energy from the food they make. To stay healthy, they also need nutrients from the soil. They take in nutrients through their roots. Here is a picture of photosynthesis in action. Sunlight turns water and carbon dioxide into food inside the leaves. The plant leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air. A plant takes in water through its root and stores it in the trees, in the leaves. As the leaves make food, oxygen that people and animals need to breathe is given off. Here's a science experiment you can try. A plant needs sunlight to make both its food and green chlorophyll in its leaf. What happens when a plant doesn't get enough sunlight? To find out, Take two potted plants of the same kind that have green leaves. Place one plant in a sunny place and the other in a dark closet. Water the plants to keep their soil moist. Give them both the same amount of water. Compare your plants every three or four days. What do you notice happening? Hmm. Science words. Chlorophyll, the substance that leaves in leaves that trap sunlight and uses it to make plants food. It gives the plant its green color. Energy, the power needed by all living things to grow, develop, and stay alive. Gas, matter that floats in the air and is neither a liquid nor a solid. Most gases, such as carbon dioxide, are invisible. Nutrients, substances that plants need to get from the soil, such as nitrogen, which a plant needs to grow leaves and be healthy photosynthesis, the making of food by plants using water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight. Roots, underground parts of the plant that take in water and nutrients from the soil. Roots spread out in the soil to hold a plant in place. The end.